Roger Huerta of Mexico. Haida Hassan of the USA in this, our co-main bout. This is definitely speed versus power. You know, Haida has power in abundance. He has a very good, like, kind of Mike Tyson peekaboo style, good uppercuts, good left hooks. But Roger Huerta, very good speed, very good wrestling. He, has been a, he was a wrestling coach down at Tiger Muay Thai, so you know that he can get this to the mat. But like I say, Haida doing a good job here, moving forward, head movement. Back and forward, you know, good high kick there. Very vigorous, very busy. Hassan, really busier than a bishop's hat in there. He's getting in, fainting, moving in behind that left hand and uh, causing Huerta, well, to step back here as he pushes forward. It's very interesting to see this. Well, some people won't notice, but what you actually normally switch his stances, but he's staying southpaw because obviously from a wrestling background, that's where he's, he's dominant wrestling from. So he obviously, I can see with this, he's looking to time uh, Hyder coming in for a takedown. So the pace just got less busy, but we're still talking frenetic here as a description for it. Just so busy, Hassan. Constantly moving, constantly making a difficult target. And but, uh, just a little bit more relaxed. But uh, Hassan having a lot of good, good, good results coming in, isn't he? Yeah, good head movement. You know, he bobs and weaves like kind of like the Mike Tyson big boot style. You know, slips and rips. For that that's a thunderous right hand missing by whiskers. Hey. Scheduled for three, five minute rounds. This, but you get the feeling it might not go the distance. These two have been really at it from the get-go. Really <laughs> unbelievable fireworks we're seeing here. But uh, if it does go to the ground, both very capable finishers. Yeah, definitely. They're both very, very rounded uh, fires. Both have been in the grain for a long, long, long time. But by, 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 with that standing, well roundness comes, you know, sec, sec, uh, comes hand in hand. Just to give you an idea of the international flavor of this Phoenix Dubai card, we've got uh, Roger Huerta from Mexico, Haida Hassan from the USA, we've had Moise Rimbon from France, De Rofti from Moldova, we've had fighters from Egypt, Lebanon, South Korea, Peru, France. Just to give you an idea of the international flavor of Phoenix Fighting Championships, bringing fighters from across the globe to compete here at the highest level. Notwithstanding the two in the cage as we speak now. All we would need was a, a koala or a, a kangaroo versus a polar bear, and then we have a fight from every continent. That's right. It was only Antarctica and Australia missing in terms of continents represented here. So the pace leveled down on this co-event. Still very busy from Hassan, but uh, relaxed Roger Huerta. He's not too disgruntled by anything that's coming his way. Yeah, you can see the marks on, on uh, Hyder's le left side, right side of his body, left side of what you're right, throwing his kick. You know, he's blocking them, but you can see a little bit of damage going up there. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for a takedown yet. Hyder's trying to get the distance, uh, close the distance, throwing his heavier shots. But now what you were kind of being very evasive, you know, crafty, very aware of the dangers that, that Hyder possess. So Hyder started off strong in this round. Now, now it seems like Rogers getting, getting getting into this fight a little bit more. You know, held back a little bit maybe to see what Hyder. Hyder's very dangerous early on. It was very frenetic, wasn't it? It was a really frantic pace that Hassan brought to this. Yeah, Hyder's having a trouble trying to really, you know, close Roger down, you know, and make him. Try and trap him into a corner where, where these uppercuts and hooks will, will pay, pay good. Well, Hassan got caught there on the inside from Huerta. I'm just looking at Huerta's numbers here 12 TKOs out of a record of 23 and 9 for the Mexican. So Hassan needs to have a care. Yeah, a lot of uh, Roger Huerta's success within the UFC was the down at lightweight. He, you know, he, he hasn't really been fighting too much at welterweight, as you can see, the size difference. But here, both going at it, you know, so he, he's not scared of standing in front of sort of a powerhouse like Haida and throwing down. Well, to getting very confident now, and he's had good success working his way in behind the hands. I like to see Haida, when, when, when Woodrow switches to an orthodox position, is the attacking with that low kick. 
to help slow down the, the movement by, by Roger. Roger's doing a good job of just moving and evading the power shots. First round, that was fast and furious. It was, it, you know, it was speed versus power, like I've been saying throughout this round. We will go back and looking at some of the action in the first round. It was very much a feeling in our process. No feeling out of the first first minute. I think Roger done the right thing. Kind of like was just trying to survive that early onslaught from from, from uh, Hyder, throwing those heavy, heavy shots. Could you know change change the fight in, in a split second? You see some of the shots by by Hyder missing just by a millimeter. Really good action here. I, I'd be interested to see if this fight does go to the floor. So an interesting moment there when Huerta managed to close the gap and get uh, a headlock on. Hassan slips it, but uh, it just shows that Huerta can get in close enough to put moves on, even though Hassan is just so busy. I think his keys to this fight for Roger is that the speed of getting in and out, in and out, trying to not take no damage. He got in on the inside there, got a fun headlock, but he doesn't want to be in too close to a powerhouse like Haider Hassan, who's going to make him pay and slip and rip on the inside. To the three. throwing in the kick up it goes high kick and that caught Hassan by surprise caught us by surprise nicely landed clean shot yeah good job uh, uh, Hyder's hand was up there just to block some part some a good left hook by Hyder there but it was it was very very crafty by by Roger you know kicking down low kicking down low he's trying to get, get his hand locked going for a right good balance by Hyder here he's trying to get good like he's getting a good elbows here maybe try and use this a little bit Free intervention, strike to the back of the head, not allowed under the rule system. And uh, Roger Huerta, yeah, he, really injured here. Yeah, he was actually hurt, and you can see that that was, you know, on the back of the head. And, and you can see that, that there's some damage here, you know, blood coming out of the, of the head. So, very unfortunate. So, uh, good intervention there from the referee yet again. And uh, Blake Grice calling it. Uh, yeah, Roger was def definitely hurt. You can see he was a bit wobbled. You saw that after a couple of those elbows, he just kind of stopped, you know, was stunned, you know, so he's definitely rocked. Referee yeah. calls an end to this. So, Roger Huerta cannot continue. The damage is too great. Um, I think this is going to be a disqualification. It, I think it could possibly be a DQ if it was deemed that the strikes by Hyder was intentional, but Sometimes it's hardly. I don't know if he was intentionally meaning to hit the back of the head, but you know, after a couple of them, one of them hit. So it, it'd be interesting to see how this goes. Is it classed as a non-contest, uh, or or they're thinking that the these shots are intentional? And As the camera panned round, you can see both of us ringside here. We're right behind the cage where it happened. It happened right in front of us, and we were able to see that those strikes were very, very powerful, very heavy elbow strikes, weren't they, to the back of the head. But it was because of the position of Huerta. You can't really say that it was intentional. I mean, you know, you've got to let it go when you get the opportunity. Yeah, you have to be very careful with your weapons, your weapons that you're throwing, so you have to be always aware of where you're throwing them. But... No, like he's very unfortunate, you know, to see that. I was looking forward to this fight to see how it blossoms. So we think the management are talking about a DQ. Definitely Blake Bryce has mentioned it. Mark Goddard talking to our Master of Ceremonies, uh, Grant Waterman himself, a UFC refer referee. So we've got the best of the best here tonight to make that decision and call. And uh, I think the announcement is going to be made. Yeah, I, I know Hyder personally, he's one of the nicest guys I've ever met, so you can tell that he didn't mean to hurt Roger in any way whatsoever, even though this is a fighting sport, you have a lot a lot of respect for your opponents, and uh, you know, you're out there, it's like gladiators, you're fighting. For me, I always used to say, I, I never fought because I hated what, in front of me, what was in front of me, I always fought because oh, I loved what was behind me, and that goes hand in hand with Hyder, you know, he loves his family, he loves his team, he fights for them.
you know what that was wonderful and eloquently put Brad it really was I think that's a message for all people listening in and watching here tonight I really do think that's a message a powerful message of hope and uh, sums up the budo spirit the fighters ethic and real true athleticism and sportsmanship so a big round of applause here as uh, sadly Roger Huerta has to well, I thought he was going to leave the ring here, but they've cleaned him up, but not going to continue. Yeah, obviously, both of these guys, never, no, no one ever wants to win by DQ, and no one ever wants to get DQ'd, you know? But you see the mutual love there, as Hardy goes in and kiss Roger's head. So the announcement to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, after 53 seconds of the second round, our referee, Mr. Blake Rice, calls a halt to the action due to illegal elbow strikes to the back of the head, declaring our winner by way of disqualification from Mexico, Roger Huerta. Yeah, you see on Roger's face, he's not happy. No one wants to win by DQ, but rules are rules. Uh, you have to be careful where you're throwing the elbows. Uh, and unfortunately, one of them landed on the back of his head. We've done significant damage to end the fight. Absolutely, and it enforces again the case that this is not a no rule sport. It is very strictly governed, and you know, the jobs of uh, referees, they make split second decisions, they always call it right, and you know, uh, a good decision is a safe decision, as always. Um, fortunately, they've been able to tidy up Roger Huerta, but he takes the win in our co main event here tonight.